Let's get started. Hey everyone, and welcome to the demo of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, a game that I've been looking forward to very much. It's coming out in four weeks, and now we get to try the demo and see some of the new mechanics, hopefully, and meet the new characters, and that's gonna be really awesome. Um, because, uh, the way I experienced Danganronpa so far was completely out of order, so I got certain plot points, like, before actually playing the games, which kind of sucked. And now we're getting a new Danganronpa story, which I'm so looking forward to. Okay, new game. Let's get started. English voices. Awesome. I love that intro. Danganronpa is getting a like much higher quality now that it's like like it, it it's moving from PSP to actually being built on high definition systems. And it's awesome. Also uh I got to change some setting again. There we go. Okay, let's get started again. Come on. There. I guess I should start by introducing myself. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. My last name roughly means passionate red maple tree. It doesn't really fit me, but I still like my last name. Huh? Wait. Who am I, who am I even talking to? I was walking my usual route to school when... Huh? Why is it so dark? Huh? Where am I? Is this a classroom? Hold on, did I? Sorry guys, I... Oh, it reset. I did it so perfectly so that voices could be heard, heard well. Because uh, I feel like the audio balancing isn't that great. Some voices are very difficult to to hear. There. Is this a classroom? Yeah, it's a classroom, all right, but I don't remember, but I don't recognize it at all. Why was I sleeping here? Oh, are you awake? Good morning, Kaede. 
Okay. Huh? So let's first establish the fact that this demo is not a canon plot. It uses some characters from previous games in order to, like, just tell a little bit of a different story. Like, it's just doing a little bit, like, a thing of its own so that it doesn't spoil anything for the main story. Um, so yeah, this is, this is definitely like a thing on its own. We'll meet all the new characters, but, uh, they'll, they're telling a different story using previous characters. Huh? Who are you? How do you know my name? Do we know each other? I don't remember you though. <laughs> oh, sorry if I scared you. Let me introduce myself. My name is Makoto Naegi. I'm the ultimate lucky student. Huh? Some, something is already not right for me. I had this in 60 frames per second. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, hold on. We're taking a little bit of break. I'm fixing this. I see. Excuse me? Oh. Let's try that again. This wouldn't take long. We'll, we're taking care of this quickly. I'm setting the options again. The music will be set correctly. Dongan Rampa! Great! There. Okay. Skipping through this. And we are back. Huh? Where are Yeah. Oh, are you? My name is Makoto Naegi. I'm the ultimate lucky student. Okay. Huh? Ultimate lucky student? Yeah. I'm a student at this academy. Every year they choose a one student in the whole country by lottery. They attend this academy as the ultimate lucky student. I see. Only one student in the entire country? That's amazing. You must be really lucky. Yeah, that's kind of his thing. I didn't know luck would be considered an ultimate talent. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, and I suppose I'm your upperclassman. Yeah. Nice to meet you again, ultimate pianist Kaede. Huh? What? You're my upperclassman? Oh, I'm very sorry, Mr. Makoto. I, I thought... <laughs> hey, don't worry about that. No need for the mister. Huh? Hey, wait, now that I think about it, I haven't even introduced myself yet. How did you know I was the ultimate pianist? <laughs> oh, information about the new students is public record. I just looked at that. Um. N new students? I, re I already attend a high school though. Hey, Makoto, where are we? What is this academy? Hey. Maybe it's best to just show you. Could you try checking that desk? That desk? Hey there, I'm sure you're confused right now. Where you're thinking, where am I? Well, I can't explain that, but I can give you, 
I can give a basic explanation of the controls. Use the left stick to control the reticle on screen. When you have a target in your sights, press the A button to investigate it. Use the right stick. The right stick controls your view. Get a good look at your surroundings. You can also press the R beat button to smack objects around. That's a definite new thing. Who knows? You might even... Uh, Okay, uh, fortunately the steam alert is, uh, obscured by Zorua there. <laughs> Who knows, you might find something amazing. You can always press the, the left bumper to return objects to their original position. So relax. However, not every object is able to be moved. Thank you for understanding. If you press the Y button, a mysterious investigative, investigative power will activate. Mysterious. Sorry, I know this is a lot of information, but if you forget anything, you can click the start button to view the controls. Investigate this place thoroughly. That's how you progress the story, you know. Okay, so with Y, you can investigate. Wait, hold on a second. Why can we see what's on the blackboard screen? Only investigative mode and not in normal mode. Oh, it just switches to normal mode. Is this a blackboard? It's not weird to see a blackboard in a school. This blackboard is also an LCD screen. That's something you don't see every day. I was resting my head on this desk when I woke up. Ew, I drooled a little bit on it. I need to clean that later. So, on this desk there is... Huh? A letter? If you want to progress the story, come to the gym. <laughs> but please be careful, there are other people wandering around. If you talk to them, you'll have... You'll end up having to listen to their introductions. Oh no! Deja vu! I've just been in this place before. Uh, sorry, there's no time for that right now. Anyway, please come to the gym. Seriously, please. Seriously, please? What do they mean by please? I feel like this is a prank. But I wonder what's at the gym. I wonder, and who are these other people? I checked my desk like I was told, but I'm even more confused now. Hey. Hey, Mikoto, does this mean there are other people in this academy besides us? Yeah. You aren't the only new student. Everyone's waiting for us outside. It might be good to greet everyone before we head out, head over to the gym. Of course, if you wanted to, you could go straight there. It's up to you. Yeah. Okay, got it. Wait, I'm a new student? What does that mean? Jeez, why is this happening? What the hell is this academy? So, Hope's Peak hasn't really been mentioned yet, I'm noticing. And I think... They actually went through with the idea of it not taking place on Hope Speak or having anything to do with Hope Speak Academy, despite Makoto Naegi being here right now. Also, something I'm noticing, there's no cameras. I think. Oh, I see. This investigative power replaces um, the standard Y button. Uh, look here for what you can uh, investigate. Because now, instead of like having to go everything, uh, there's just uh, a different screen with the things that can be examined being still colorful. That's interesting. So this thing is a monitor. I don't see any camera, which is a standard thing in other Danganronpa games. Is this a monitor? Nothing's on display. Whoops, I just opened the monopad. This definitely does not feel like a school. And there's barbed wire now on some of the panels. I can see moss outside the window, but there's barbed wire on them. Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? 
Yeah, that's uh, interesting for sure. Yes, I would like to leave. Ooh, that's a cool little animation. Pressing the white button will bring up a large map. What a convenient world this has become! Well, off you go. Find your classmates. Cool. Uh, it's kind of too bad that they, like, did away with the pixel art thingy. It seems, at least. This is just classroom, not 1A or whatever. Oh, frame rate. You okay? The frame rate, frame rate got a little bit wonky there. Anyway, um, one thing that is awesome is that they fixed the controls. They finally did. Uh, the controls in the original were weird, kind of golden I ask. Basically, you would, like, go forward with the left stick and go backward, but also head left with the camera as well, like going left and right too, instead of just um, strafing like it does now. Uh, strafing you'd have to do with the left and right buttons, uh, but and the, f the run button would be B. Well, B is still used as a run button. I can now pr completely control the camera with my right stick. And the left button is also a run button. Also, this definitely definitely looks like a uh, like class trial door. Oh wait, huh? What's the matter? I told you would, I would ha I would leave it to you, but I do have some advice. Jim is on the first floor, and I think everyone else is there too. So you might want to check out this floor first. Hmm, Makoto seems to know what he's talking about, so I should listen to them. Him. him. What? Brain fart. Hey. Oh, hey there. You guys get kidnapped too? Well, you both look alright. That's good. No. Situation could be better though. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Hey. Hey, let me ask you something. You guys remember how you got here? I don't really remember, but maybe Makoto knows? He seems to be a student of this academy, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that right? No. Yes. <laughs> yes, but even I don't fully understand how I got here. Huh? Really? Actually. So you don't remember how you got here, either. I guess that means you're, everyone here is the same. Huh? Huh? Everyone? No. I asked the others, too. They all said they don't remember. So the others don't remember either. You got me. It's like we all have amnesia or something. Hmm. I guess so. That's not true. Wait, amnesia is amnesia is a stretch. Probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. No. Sure, could be group group hypnosis, baby brainwashing. <laughs> In any case, I hope we remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, uh, I'll end up the outcast. Hmm. The outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? To tell you... Was this the same voice as uh, Hajime Hinata? Just like... Putting up a like lower pitched voice? Kind of sounds like it. To tell you the truth, I, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. What? You got me. Phew. I'm in trouble. I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. Let me check it right now, behind the voice actor. Oh, hold on. Wait, what was that? What was that just now? I wanna see that again. Hold on, that should be... We're trying to... The right stick is react. Okay, let me let me check it. Uh, behind the voice actors. Na, 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 na. Do, da, da, da. Do, do. 
Is that true? Oh yeah. Of course it is, but then again, I don't blame you for not believing it. Uh Don Gon Rumpa. I'm just switching Don and Rumpa. Should be enough, I think. Did you give me characters? No, 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 no. Duncan Rampa, V3 Killing Harmony, cast images. That's our guy. Oh, I can only see the Japanese voice actor right now. That's too bad. Well, guess we're just, just gonna do at that. I don't blame you for not believing in me. Oh. Oh, I never told you my name, did I? My name is Rantaro Omami. Yeah, it's definitely Hajime Hinata right now. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment. But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. Ultimate. That's right. <laughs> I always love doing that. This person is the ultimate. <laughs> like Yoko. Ultimate. <laughs> oh, Makoto. You saw the documents about all the incoming freshmen, didn't you? Did you happen to see what Rantaro's talent is? Hmm. Well, in the document I received, I didn't say anything about Rantaro. Huh? Really? <laughs> Then maybe I'm here by mistake? To be honest, I don't remember anything about being a freshman either. What? No, that's not true. You're an ultimate student, without a doubt. Mm -hmm. Oh, you sound awfully sure. Yeah. Well, it's not so strange that you weren't on the document. It only contained public information. Some ultimates don't want their talents known so openly. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. One day your talent will become clear. That's true. <laughs> well, I'll take it. For someone who doesn't remember his talent, he should, doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Actually, I really like how they like, have like, those little windows sections for the characters. We can even see like our own character now, which is not something they uh, were able to do in the previous Dagon Rampas. Or at least they didn't do it. Is it weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent? Huh? What? I'm looking forward to it. You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. <laughs> anyway, it'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Jeez. Stop that. We'll escape soon. Mm -hmm. You really think it's going to be that easy? Huh? What do you mean? No. Nothing. Just a feeling. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, all right? That would be a pretty chill guy to talk to. I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Okay, so... Moving the right stick, we'll get, we, we can react to something. We can confirm or refute something, and we can do it in either a friendly way or a hostile way. That might be true, but I get it, but... Yeah, you're right. Refute, huh? You think so? That's wrong. You don't get it. Oh, that's a mean one. You don't get it. You just don't get it. And the center is hmm. Yeah. Oh no, there's no center thingy. <laughs> that's cool. Whoa, this guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Is that? That's a bug box. Um. Um, excuse me. Huh? Hmm? Thank you. Oh, thank you. Huh? Thank you. Sorry. 
Oh, sorry for scaring. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Gonta is scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for first time. Because Gonta, gentlemen. Gonta. So like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking talking to Gonta. Hi, Prince Expert. How are you doing? Yeah. Um, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh, oh right. Got Gonta need make need to make introduction. Um, um Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Uh, Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. He's a bug man, yeah. Gonta want to become gentleman. Becoming true gentleman, Gonta's goal. Ah, nice. Ultimate entomologist. I see. So you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. Huh? Really? Th thank you. Yeah. Oh, you're actually pretty nice. Silly for me. Uh, silly me for being scared at first. Maybe. I see. Cause Gonta's scary looking, right? Sorry. Oh, sorry. That's not what I. No. No, it's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta called scary since he was a kid. Um. Since you were a kid, huh? By the way, you said you're an entomologist, right? What's? You mean? You like bugs too? Huh? Huh? Bugs? Bugs? Well... Then... Do you hate bugs? Uh, you okay? Huh? Wait, what? But how? You hate bugs? Ah, uh, jeez. No, of course not. I don't hate them. I, I love them. Thank goodness. Uh, oh, okay. That good. No bad person likes bugs. Um... Y uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Even if you didn't like bugs, I wouldn't want to break that news to go to. To be honest, I don't really like bugs, but I should keep that a secret. Aww. Poor Gonta. But also, scary Gonta. I Gonta. Uh, hold on. What are you doing here? Hi, Jimmy Hanata. Hajime. I wonder if that person's ultimate student. I should go ask. What's up? Huh? Oh, hey Makoto. Something wrong? Yeah. Hajime, this is Kaede Akamatsu, the ultimate pianist. He's also he's also your upperclassman, Kaede. Oh, he's another upperclassman? I better turn on the charm then. Um Um, I'm Kaede Akamatsu. Nice to meet you, sir. My name is Hajime Hinata. I think I'm a grade ahead of you, but either way, nice to meet you. Why is his voice different? We, j we just had his voice actor. Why is this? Why is this a different voice? Oh, another ultimate. Yeah. Okay. So he's still the ultimate. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think you're a grade ahead? What do you mean by that? Yeah. Well, I don't really have an ultimate student like the rest of you here. Huh? Huh? You're not an ultimate? <laughs> <laughs> well, Hajime, we have seniority, but she's the protagonist this time around. Protagonist? You're right. Oh, well. Yeah, it's still the same voice actor, but why did he put up a different voice? Well, if that's the case, then I guess I... If, then I guess you are an under, underclassman of mine. Feel, feel free to talk to me if you've got any problems, Kaede. Um, thank you very much. I thought only ultimate students were gathered here, but I guess it's not the case. And also, what do they mean by protagonist? So yeah, our boy, uh, can you see him? No, he's not. He's just with us. Our boy Makoto Naegi was the protagonist of the first game, and Hajime Inata was the protagonist of the second game. Uh, about him not telling his ultimate, um, ultimate talent, that's a plot point in the second game that I'm not going to touch upon right now. Because, uh, you know, we don't want spoilers. Uh, hello. And you, Naga. Yaha! How are you? My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. Oh, she's happy. I like her. Ultimate artist. The god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking speaking to me with his divine voice. With his divine voice. 
Oh, well, she's certainly devout. Um, do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh, um, I do both. I draw drawings and sculpt sculptures. But Atua is the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. So divine! <laughs> How divine! I see. She's cute. Also a little weird with the with the deity taking over her body thing. But you know. I see, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course! In return, will you make an offering? Huh? Uh, an offering? Uh... Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, a truck comes to collect my offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. But, but... Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint or two of your blood. Don't worry. Sorry. Um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I don't know if she's friendly or not, but she's not easy to approach. Well, she's easy to approach, but she's also easy to have to have taking your blood. Um, which is not something I want. Also, I just had level up. What? <laughs> I don't know what the level ups are used for in this game. I know that there's something in the second game. Gen again, not gonna talk about it. Uh, I'll mention this as like a little mini game. Well, I can I can say about that. It's not really a spoiler. Uh, like, uh, Danganronpa is like a Tamagotchi type uh, mini game that you can play throughout the entire game through, which is interesting, um, for sure. Um, and level ups had something to do with that. Also, screen tearing. What? Are you a freshman in this academy too? Uh, okay. Uh, yes. I don't remember much, but it appears that the it appears that is the case. I remember his voice from like trailers and stuff. He is the same voice actor as Leon Kuwada. So, uh, he's gonna be Sonic again. <laughs> Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, but like a little bit lower in pitch, I guess. It means you have an ultimate talent as well, right? I'm Shuichi Saihara. They call me the ultimate detective, but... Cool! Huh? You're a detective? That's amazing! No. Uh, no. I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. I just happened to solve a case that I, that I came across, and now people call me that. No. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Right. Oh yeah, my name is Kaede Gakamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you, Shu Shuichi. Uh, um... Shuichi Saihara. It's quite the mouthful. Shuichi. Cool. Nice to meet you, too. A detective, huh? He doesn't look that reliable, but maybe I can talk to him if I have a problem. Usually I always go to the boys' bathroom in Danganronpa games, but, well, if there's a, an option to go to the bathroom at least. Ultimate penis, uh... Let me wait here. I think I made the secret situation awkward. Okay, so we can see the girls' bathroom this time because we are, of course, a female student. Oh, there's a character in here! Hello! Uh, yeah. Pianist. Hey. Hey, what are you looking for? Bitch! Don't sneak up on me, bitch! Okay. Calm down. I literally just met you and you've already called me a bitch. Hey. Hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for. Just who are you anyway? Really? Huh? Seriously? You don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Mew Iruma! Mew, cool. Where's Mew 2? Ha, ha, I made a joke, ha. ha. Mew Iruma, cool. Ultimate inventor, she's cool. Her design is cool. 
Um, I've never heard of you. Um. So, what kind of things do you invent? Hmm. I'll make all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you uh, type while you sleep, <laughs> read while you s read while you sleep, and ones that let you eat while you sleep. Uh, why does everything involve sleeping? Sure. I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. <laughs> Though this one time I invented these really stupid eyedrop contact lenses as a gag. Huh? Wait, really? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. <laughs> Psh, your friend sounds like total plebs. That invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep. So it was a failure, just like you. Uh, I signed the patent rights over to some company and never looked back. That seems like a waste. It was it's way better than your do stuff while sleeping inventions. <laughs> this is a cool character. Also very vulgar, yeah. Thanks for waiting, Makoto. No problem, shall we? Oh geez, the screen tearing. It's not being happy right now. Um, I wish I could stop. Stop. I don't have an option for that in the game, right? What if I turn off the moon, Bob? Will that help? Oh, it will most definitely not. Is it like something that the game is having right now? I don't know what's happening. Okay, now it seems fixed. Why don't I go back to... Okay, that seems to fix it. Okay, so whenever that happens, I just have to get out of full screen and back into it. Okay. It's a little bit tedious, but whatever. It's not the worst thing. Uh, what did I just see? I saw... Um... Dress up? Oh, you can change the monopat theme? Oh, that's cool. Okay. Report card, of course. Oh, here we can see all the students. Oh, we haven't seen this one yet. Uh, let's just... Let's just go through the students and do their um, introductions. If you would, personal belongings you have on you. Presents. Of course. Oh, we can't. Truth bullets. Yeah. And a map. We can't use the map. So the only things we can use right now are the report card. We can't see the school rules. That's weird. And we can use the options. Oh, whatever. Well, I guess we just have, we just have a map. So we don't have the rules yet. Um. Hi. Um. You look weird. There's a new character. Okay, I'll sh I shall just talk to this guy, I guess. What is it? You wonder, who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. My name is Karekio Shinguchi. I am called the Ultimate Anthropologist. Wait, is this the same voice actor again? Mm. This is again Hajime Hinata's voice actor. Something's not right here. Maybe they're just similar. Please, call me Kijo. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? I see. Okay, sure. Anthropology is... Studies, customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. It may even be, like, be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you, don't, you do not know. Let's see. For example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customers such as these through rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Maybe, like, that voice actor just did a bunch of voices for the demo specifically, and, like, in the actual game, they're gonna have different voice actors. Mm hmm. Okay, I sort of get it, but not really. Sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's correct. Well, of course it's fun. It is a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Okay, you're waiting me out. Huh? What? I... He's hugging himself. Okay. 
I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. <laughs> People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep. And it turns out he is one too. He certainly is. The dining hall. Uh, I just remembered something. There's a room we checked. We didn't check a little while back. Is that the gym? Yeah, that's the gym. We still have uh, not seen all the characters. Let's talk to this girl. Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. Cool. She a cute, cute little mount. <sighs> Surprised? I don't look like someone who'd like kids, do I? No, you don't. Huh? That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Um. But, but if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. Mm-hmm. But they say kids are very intuitive if they like you that much. Hey. Then they can probably tell you tell how loving you really are, Maki. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. That's wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? Huh? What do you mean by that? So what? Nothing. I just it's just I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? I see. Oh, that sucks. Maki. Poor Maki. So here's the dining hall. Sweet. The warehouse. Yeah, this this room here. The dormitory. Ah, there's some more characters. And oh the the old pixel art icons are back. And they're cute as ever. There's still a bunch of people we haven't seen yet. That guy we haven't seen yet. This one is oh, that one is right here. Hi. He is a tiny man. We've seen this guy, not this one. We've also seen this guy, but not this one. So we still have a bunch of characters to go off, to go down. Uh, this one and this one we've also seen. Also, hi Makoto Nagi, I get a chance to talk to you again. Um, maid girl is over here. Then there's this girl, hi. We haven't seen this girl yet. Uh, this is the inventress. We, okay, so we still have a couple of characters to talk to. Also, this little witch girl. <laughs> Great. That's a cute little icon with the hat. Okay, let's talk to Makoto first. This must be the dormitory for the new students. Okay, then. Well, good talk. You know? Um, what's your name? Oh, my name is Sumugi Shirogane. I'm the ultimate cosplayer. I don't like that voice. I'm sorry. That's the voice that, uh... That's the same voice actor as Sayaka's in the first game. I don't like that voice. I'm so sorry. I like the character design, though. She's cute. A cosplayer? I guess. Are you surprised? I get that a lot since I'm so plain. No. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost pheromonal scent about you. I see. But anyone who looks at your body can tell that your that your pheromones are off the charts. Um. Um. I don't really like being watched by people. Actually. I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. Oh. But. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. Zooming in on her. You're right! 
great! I'd rather wear my outf wear my outfits myself with love than give them to such people. Hmm. Wow, you're pretty intense. Oh. It makes me happy when I when I get to show people the outsides. Outsides I've made. She's made outsides, you know? Sorry. Outfits. Thanks to my sponsors, I can I can use materials that are just plain expensive. I see. Oh, well, of course the ultimate cosplayer would have sponsors. No. It's not a big deal. People just crowd around like I'm a panda at the zoo. Mm. That's so amazing. You're pretty much a celebrity, you know? I want to talk to the tiny man first. <laughs> oh, he's the ultimate tennis pro. It's an old story. Oh, I condemn Tanaka. That is an old story. Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. Oh. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. Okay, then. I've seen you in the newspaper before, I think. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down a mafia. Huh? You took down a mafia by yourself? Yeah. Using his steel tennis ball, he blew a hole through their heads one by one. What the hell, really? Huh. huh. So you know that much already. Well, what do you think of a loser before of the loser before you use before you who used his talent to kill? Um. But why would you throw away your future like that? Jeez. Huh. Because I didn't. F well, because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? Huh? No. No. It, it's nothing. It's not like me to talk so much. Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to just walk up to a killer like me. As he said that, he turned his back to us. What? Okay, then. I am Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Cool. Please let me know if you require my service. Okay. I see. Wow, the ultimate maid sounds like a really cool talent. <laughs> Even among the new students, Kurumi has a reputation. She's clear-headed, good at sports, and an excellent student, and a maid as well. In fact, she's so perfect, it's said she can complete any request. Huh? What? She's that amazing? I do not agree. Please, you are exaggerating. I will not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but as it was impossible, I rejected it. But being requested to do that is pretty impressive to, on its own. Hmm. Rumor has it she also was also a bodyguard for heads of state. I do not agree. I have, I have only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. I see. But you've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. She's how I imagined the ultimate maid to be. Not only is she talented, but she's composed. Yeah, she cool. She cool. Also, we're sharing we're sharing a girl's dorm room with two guys. Hajime Hinata and Makoto Naegi. Yeah, they're not part of the actual game. That's for sure. Oh, na, 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 na. Yes. There we go. Woo! Oh, hi. <laughs> School store is, of course. <sighs> you can't enter that. That makes sense. Ooh, broken TV screens. This uh, place is a little bit run down. Unlike the uh, previous schools where, well, the previous school where everything was kept up nicely, and then there was an island that was also taken care of really nicely. It really seems like something has gone down here. You get entered to the kitchen, I see. But there's three new characters to talk to. I'll start on the left. I'm Kaito Momota, luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. Awesome! Ultimate astronaut! How about... How about it? I'm an astronaut. 
Isn't that cool? Yeah, yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> well, of course, not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. I see. Oh, I see. So you're still a trainee. But you know. But I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you'd, you'd need to take a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? Huh? But then how did you take the exam? So. I had a friend who was crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. Ah, uh, jeez. That's illegal. Yeah. Yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in pretty deep shit. But the people who up top let me in, since I did so well on the exam. Jeez. Th that's reckless. Got it. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. Huh. No way I can wait till after college. I want to get to space as fast as I can. He sure is energetic. He might die in the process of this. That would suck. Not being able to, like, realize his dream of going to space. Also, hi. Rules? Dang all rules, feel free to eat anything you like, clean up after yourself. The cafeteria is locked down at nighttime. Cool. Nighttime, so it's closed at night? Okay. Also, many plants. Like Jeebus. Jeebus cursed. So many plants. Oh, that's the that's kitchen over there. So that is... Oh, the terrace door. Oh, I can. Cool, so this is the kitchen. Pretty neat. Huh. Okay. This girl. Tenko. Hey I must be prepared for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. I will protect myself with new A Aikido. Huh? Aikido, then you're... Oh, yes. I'm Tango Shabashira. Yeah! The ultimate Aikido master. <laughs> yeah! Cool. I see. Ooh! I always imagined Aikido masters to be huge, burly guys, but you're so cute. Uh... Cute? <laughs> uh, stop it! I, I... I'm not cute! She's blushing furiously. <laughs> cool. I think this girl is into girls. Which is cool. They don't do that in video games that often. Without being stupid about it, at least. Well, no. Usually when it happens in games, they're not... I shouldn't say things. Because there's going to be a lot of people saying other stuff about it. I'm just gonna keep it at this. Um, I hope they tackle something like this well. My face trinkles when I suck down and... My face trinkles when I suck down a shake and when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. Hmm. Um, I, I see, but I think you're cute. Right, Makoto? What? what? Uh, don't answer that. Whoa. Okay. She's, uh... Wait, quite the recovery? Huh? W what's the matter? Your face just went blank all of a sudden. Hmm. I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. What? <laughs> okay. Mm. Degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around men? Yes. Uh, around them? It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. Okay. Yeah. You're right. That's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. By the way, what is this Neo, Neo Aikido you mentioned? That's right. Neo Aikido is, a, is, a, is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So your Aikido is all self-taught. Taught. Cool. Prepare to be amazed. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeno, the ultimate maid. <laughs> she sounds tired. <laughs> but 
I'm officially called the ultimate magician. Great. She's cute. I see. Oh, so you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. Mm. I mean, it makes sense, though, since magic doesn't exist. Oh, look at her face. Oh, she's so sad. I'm sorry. Mm. Yeah, magic does exist. Huh? Huh? I... Because I am a mage. Um. You're just a magician. You're just a magician, right? No. Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I am actually a mage. Huh? Just a ruse. Uh. A group of ti a group trying to hide magic's existence from the world labeled my magic as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. Uh. But I'm but I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. Um, there, there, don't be sad. That's... Well, you could show us your magic. Then we would believe you. That's right. Oh, that's right. Help us out with your magic. Take us back to when we originally... No. Magic isn't all powerful. I can only do so much. Um, I see. Then what can you do? You're right. I can choose the card you picked, pull out coins, and release doves. Yeah. And if I get serious, I can even sauce someone in half. <laughs> this is just ordinary magic tricks. I like that character a lot. That is my favorite. <laughs> For sure. Okay. Now. Warehouse. Hey! Wait for me! Please stop! Don't come any closer! A boy in white is chasing that, that other boy in the funny clothes. What's happening here? This is a large fucking warehouse. Like, the one in Danganronpa 1 is nowhere near as large as this. This is insane. So much stuff. What's that on the ground? Oh, these are lights. I see. Kokichioma and... I have heard about this one. This is pronounced Kibo. <laughs> Come on, wait up! Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? What? A robot? What is it? What is it? Are you another robophobe? That's enough. I have a recording function. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Hey. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for reals a robot? Please stop. I'm not just any old, I'm not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kibo. Kibo, yeah. Um. Ultimate robot? Hmm. That's not fair! You can't be the only one who gets to show off! I'll introduce myself to... Yeah. Oh, um, go ahead. I'm Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. Well... <laughs> That's something. A robot and supreme leader? Neither of them make any sense. By the way... I learned it. I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. How rude! My breath does not smell like gasoline. I'm powered by electricity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not funny. You're not funny. This again sounds like the voice actor just Hajime Hinata. So yeah, I guess they really got some different voice actors for the demo. Like, we can't have just three characters voiced by the same person in one game. Well, a Dango Rampa game specifically. Do not mock me! Don't don't mock me! I've studied the complete history of stand-up comedy! I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying um, it. Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I'm a high school student just like you. Um. You're a high school student? Yeah. 
I was created by Professor I Idabashi, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed me a he installed in me a strong AI, capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why, at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But but the professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things, until finally he enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now I stand here before you all. See, I'm just like everyone else. Hey! Hey, do robots have dicks? Hey! Please do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> That's a weird laugh. Nee hee hee! I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. Oh, this guy. I mean, just being a robot is probably enough to claim the title of Ultimate Robot. Um, hey, Kukichi. I don't really understand your Ultimate Supreme Leader talent. Ah. Oh, I'm just the ulti I'm just a Supreme Leader of an evil secret organization, that's all. Huh? What? Um... I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? Seriously? The supreme leader of an evil or secret organization? Because I'm a liar. Who knows? I'm a liar after all. Huh? Oh, so you were lying just now? It's true. Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That part was true. Jeez. So, were you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Hmm. Ultimate supreme leader, huh? This is the first time I've met anyone with a talent like yours. That's right. Oh yeah, you saw the documents about the, all the incoming freshmen, right, Makoto? You know if Kukichi is telling the truth or not? No. Well, the information on that document may not be complete. <laughs> you have done. You have no idea how many crazy things I've done, do you? It's true. He's like twitching his eye. If you knew, my subordinates would have eliminated you a long time ago, Makoto. Jeez. Hey, everything you said so far has sounded like a lie, so it's gotta be a lie too, right? Oh dear. Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. He's far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because robots aren't people, silly! <laughs> you mad? Oh, you mad? Are you gonna hit me with a rocket punch? I can't! I don't have that function! Oh, oh man, you're boring! What a weird guy, he's, he's like a mis mischievous little kid. There's no time to be joking around, unless he really is, a, is an evil supreme leader. I mean, the introduction thing said it, so I think so. And with that, I think we've met everyone. So it's time to head to the gym. I know what the letter said and went to the gym. Hmm. I wonder what's in here. Hey Makoto, are you ready to go in? Hmm. Sorry, but this is where we part ways. I can't go past this point. Because you're the protagonist now, Kaede. Huh? <laughs> what? That's... From here on, you're the one who's going to learn about the situation we're in. But... You might feel despair. But I don't want you to throw away hope. Yeah. Even if there's despair on the horizon, remember that Hajime and I are here to help. Well, see ya. Let's meet up later. Huh? What? Wait, Makoto! He just left all of a sudden. What's gotten into him? Protagonist? Hope? This pair? What does any of that mean? Jeez, I'm having a second thoughts about going into the gym. But there's no point in just standing around. I have to face whatever's inside. You finally arrived! What? Why, hello there, Kaede! Ba da da, ba da da da! I like this new beat! Kaede? Ah! Whoa, that scared me. Huh? What is this? A panda? Who are you calling a panda? I'm Monokuma, the headmaster.
monster, you know? I'm kind of a big deal around here. <laughs> kind of a big deal. Headmaster? And now a message from your headmaster. You'll all be living out the rest of your lives within the walls of this academy. What? We'll be living out the rest of our lives here? W wait a minute. You just came out of nowhere and... Uh, I don't get any of this. I'm not done talking yet, so please shut up. I think you. Anyway, if you want to leave the academy, there's a special graduation requirement. I'll explain what this requirement entails. While you live together, you're all responsible for maintaining the harmony of the academy. But if someone was to disrupt that harmony, then they'd get to leave. You with me so far? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> it's simple, really. A student must kill another student. <laughs> kill? Whether it's stabbing, bludgeoning, slicing, burning, crushing, strangling, poisoning, the method doesn't matter. The student that kills one of their classmates gets to leave. Work hard to make your undesirable means justify the most desirable end. D don't mess around with us. I would never murder anyone. This is a lot weaker now that there's only us and not other students, but whatever. Don't you see, Kaede? This is how your story begins. That's the demo. Jeez. My story? What does that even mean? Oh? oh? You don't know? Did Makoto say something eerily similar before coming here? Um, you know Makoto? Yeah. Don't worry about the veteran. This is your story after all. <laughs> Yahoo! More importantly, I've prepared rooms for you, for you new students in the dormitory. You should go check out your room. I'm sure things have gotten very interesting by now. To the dorms, quickly! Qu You'll know what I'm talking about when you get there. <laughs> My room? I had no idea what was going on. I turned away from Monokuma regardless. I've heard so many strange th terms today. New student, protagonist, killing game. I'm so exhausted. I barely have the energy to feel confused by all of this. I don't care what the bear says. I will not be part of some killing game. Okay, I'm still not back. I'm a little worried, but for now, I should go to the dorms. To the dorms. I wonder which, rooms is, which room is mine. It looks like each door has a portrait on it. Oh, it, is it this one? Huh? But it's not just mine. Makoto's and ha Makoto and Hajime's portraits are in here too. I'll answer that. Don't worry, I'm happy to explain. <laughs> hey, um. This room has been prepared for the three of you to share it. It's purely a penny pinching measure. It might be seem cramped, but I'm sure you'll make it work. Uh, I'm a girl. I can't agree to this uh, this at all. Yeah. Shenanigans in co-ed dorm rooms are the most juvenile of juvenile fantasies, you know. And another thing. Any indecent behavior in the wholesome halt of the academy will be severely punished. But in dorms, you can do whatever you want, and I will look the other way. You three will stay in the protagonist's room because I want you all to get along. Hey. What do you mean, protagonists? Huh? I, I only answer those types of questions once. Don't just stand there. Go inside already. Please. You're the one who stopped me. I haven't decided whether I'm sleeping here, but I'm definitely not okay with this. Anyway, I should go inside. Kaede Akamatsu's room. Oh. Oh, huh? shit. Shit went down here. Shit went down here. Damn. What happened? This room is a mess. Why? What ha What the hell happened in this room? It's a normal bet, but it's pretty damaged. Um, what does this mean? What happened in here?
closet. This is a closet, right? I should I should check inside just to be safe. Oh, wait a sec. This isn't just my room. It's also Makoto and Hajime's. Yeah. yeah, I shouldn't open it. There might be stuff in there that they won't want me to see. Peeking to the shower room and there I saw. What? This is just the bathroom of Danganronpa 1. This can't be happening, can it? It can't be. He's dead? A body has been discovered! After a certain amount of time passes, a class trial will be held! Huh? Class trial? It's the class strategy to determine who killed Jesse or Hagakure. He also my clairvoyant. He, he's a character in Danganronpa 1. To tell you the truth. Jeez, this is like the second time he's died already. Uh, you guys can just ignore that. Hey, um. Okay. Although you must kill someone to be uh, uh, eligible to graduate, killing alone is not enough. You must kill someone without the other students finding out you did it. In order to make sure the culprit has met their requirement, <laughs> once a murder occurs, a class trial will be held after a certain amount of time. During the class during the class trial, you'll present your arguments for, for who you think the killer is. If you're correct, only the blackened killer will receive punishment. And the rest of you will keep on living here f together. If you pick the wrong person, Psycho Pop! The blackened killer will get off scot-free, and everyone else, uh, everyone else will receive the punishment. Anyway, those are the rules of the class trial. Whoops. Um. What the? Well now. now, I gotta hand these out before you start investigating. It's a file containing all the information I've gathered about the victim. I call it <laughs> the Monokuma file. After all, it's not like you guys are pros at examining dead bodies or anything. So I made sure to gather helpful info, such as the time and cause of death. Now then. Go forth and investigate. I'll see you all at the class trial. Stop it. No way. No, oh, wait a minute. It's fine. I promise this will all pay off. You just gotta focus like you're pulling an all-nighter. Ah, oh, jeez. I've never pulled an all-nighter, and you can't just bring an investigation on us like that. <laughs> Tick, talking to me is just a waste of time. Save it for the class trial. <laughs> see you later. Oh, my voice. Uh. Wait. And yet Monokuma just ignored me and disappeared. I have to investigate and find out who killed Yasuhiro? Someone in this academy actually killed someone? <laughs> he he's really dead? Sheesh. Hmm. Even though the killing game just started, seems like someone was impatient. What? What? Are you saying the killing game started? It seems as if... The killing game, followed by a class trial, which means Monokuma was serious after all. Yeah. That's right. We're going to investigate this murder and find the culprit of the, at the class trial. Kaede, you got the Monokuma file, right? Um... Yeah, Monokuma just showed it, shoved it into my hands before I could say anything. But... I know it's annoying having him decide things on his own, but... We should look at the Monokuma file first. It might have important clues. Hmm. Yeah, um... The victim was Yasuhiro Hagakure. Time of death was 1.30 p.m. The body was discovered in the protagonist's room in the dormitory. <sighs> the victim died in the bathroom. The killing blow was, this, was a stab to the abdomen delivered by a knife. Yeah, deja vu. Aside from the killing blow, no other injuries can be seen. One thirty p.m. That was just a few minutes ago. Ew, ew, this death is so fresh. 
Here was a student at this academy. He was, he was your upperclassman. Yeah. Oh, I see. Hey. Why did Hero die? In order to solve that, we need to investigate. If we look around for clues, we're bound to find something. There should be some in this room. Then we need to talk to any... Then we need to talk to any witnesses. We should also find where their weapon came from. Understood. Yes, but please do not spread yourself too thin. Let's proceed. Let us proceed one step at a time. Yeah. Okay. We just have to do it, right? Ooh. That's a cool little investigation theme. I guess I just have to talk to the people. You first. Always messing around. So does this mean someone believed that the only way to get out of here was by killing someone? <laughs> the dead body is proof of that. There's no way the body would end up quite like this by accident. Damn it. Damn it. Why'd they kill them? Why didn't they just talk things over with us? Yeah. Yeah, we haven't searched the whole school yet. We have st there still could be a way out of here. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. And they resorted to this right off the bat. When we find the culprit, I'm going to punch some sense back into them. <laughs> What's the matter? Why are you laughing me, you? Fuck all y'all. It's just, you guys are dumber than fleas and, tw and twice sig insignificant. <laughs> How could I not laugh? Ha! <laughs> what do you mean? Listen up! If you ask me, solving this case is easier than making a virgin come in his pants. <laughs> you wanna know, t you wanna know, don't you? Well, since I'm feeling generous, I'll tell you. First, ain't it weird that no one even met that spiky head had a dildo before he got murked? That's a weird thing to call someone, someone, but she's right. Yeah. This is my first time seeing Yasuhiro. Yeah. Here's yeah, my first time seeing him too. Got it. Me too, I never even heard of him. Out of my way! Which means that spiky head had a dildo was hiding this whole time. Um. Hiding, but why? <laughs> you don't know. Looks like your tits are any all that. <laughs> Looks like your tits aren't all that's pathetic about you. Jesus Christ! Then... Well, he may have been lying and wait for a chance to kill someone. Huh? What? No way! Out of my way! Anyway... That's not the only thing my golden brain managed to deduce. Listen up! There's another person hiding somewhere, and I bet that's our culprit. What? Oh, there's another person hiding? You might be right. But where's your proof? What was that? I got my genius intuition on my side. I don't need any fucking proof. Huh? Huh? So basically you're just imagining things. It's true. I don't want to think that one of us might be the culprit. Mm. Besides, Hero wasn't trying to hide. Why you? Huh? What do you say, you fucking pleb? You say I'm wrong? That's not it. No, it's true. After I woke up in this academy, I saw Hero walk down the hall over there. I over see. here. Oh, then that just means we never actually saw him. Wait! Wait, hold on a second, this isn't over yet. Yeah, that's it. I got an even easier explanation for what went down. Enjoy. The Coban is whoever has the key to this room. Booyah! Mic drop, fuckers! You know? Well, no one gave me the key. What? Huh? Really? Come on, man. Hey, quit your bullshit. This is making everyone confused. I'm not cool. Instead of saying a bunch of vulgar things, why not just use your brain a little? What did I do? Mm, but I am. Oh, no. For all our big talk and swagger, Mia is actually pretty meek when confronted. That sucks. Her theories are, are completely off base, but she's still trying her best to configure this out. All right. It's all right, Mia. We still have time. We just have to look for more clues, that's all. What was that? Huh? You and me? Ha! <laughs> Good one! That's almost as fu funny as your tiny blueberry pancake nipples.
Whoops. Oh, okay. I guess we're checking this place now. The victim was Yasuya Agakure, the ultimate clairvoyant. Who would do this and why? The knife lodged in his abdomen. Is it a kitchen knife? Hmm. I know there's a kitchen in the dining hall. Maybe the knife came from there. There's blood everywhere, on the floor and on the handle of the knife, too. But I can't seem to figure out why, but there's something that seems strange about the handle. Am I imagine think imagining things? Suspicious knife handle. It's been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. That's all. Hajime. Hero, I can't believe someone was killed here. I can't believe it either. I don't want to do this killing game. I wonder if we've already met the person who, who killed Jesse Hero. Even so, the reason is that this happened is because Monokuma trapped us here. Yeah. That's true. Hey. Kaede. Kaede, can you talk to me casually? Just like how you talk to Makoto, you know? You might feel confused about being wrapped up in this case so suddenly, but you can talk to me and Makoto about anything. I mean, we're upperclassmen after all. Yeah. Thanks, Hajime. Is he trying to calm me down? Seeing Hajime keep his cool is helping me calm down a bit. Aww. We're already confused after being trapped here and discovering a dead body. But now we have to do have to investigate too? This is just too crazy. No. But we need to do it in order to survive. It'll be fine as long as we work together. Hey. Hey Hajime, if you want, would you like to investigate together? I think it'd help me a lot, especially since you're calm and reliable. That's... I'd like that. But since you'll be investigating, I think it's best if I stay here. Huh? What? Yeah. It's hard to believe, but the culprit is one of us here in this... But the culprit is one of us here in, the, in this academy. Which is why someone needs to guard the crime scene so the culprit can't destroy evidence. I see. That should happen, huh? Uh, but um, since you mentioned the culprit destroying evidence... That's... If I'm the only one here and I was the culprit, how could... I could destroy the evidence? That's wrong! No, I trust you, Hajime. Yeah. Thanks, but you are right to hesitate. In order for you to keep trusting me, it's best if you stay suspicious. If you stay here alone, I'll have a hard time refu refuting if I'm accused or of destroying evidence. Uh. Well, that's right. If you stay behind with another person, then... Do you agree? Do you need a witness to vouch for the integrity of the crime scene, yes? Then I shall stay behind as well. Got it. Yeah, thanks. Kuru and I will stay put till the class trial. I'll leave the investigation to you, Kaede. Yeah. Okay, I'll do my best. Hachime is really calm. No, more than calm. It's more like he has experience with this sort of thing. He does. Nah, that's crazy of me. May I? Kaede, Hachime, this room belongs to you as well as Makoto, correct? Um. Yeah, that's right. Of course, I've never agreed to it at all. What do you think? I have one question. Have any of you set foot in this room since your since your arrival at the academy? No. I haven't. The first time I came to this room was when I discovered Hiro's body. I'm... After the body discovery announcement was the first time I went in here too. What about it? For everyone. In actuality, I have cleaned every room in the dormitory since I arrived in this academy. Merely a light cleaning, mind you. But at any rate, this dormitory should have been spotless. Actually, that includes this room as well. Huh? When? How? I mean, you're. I know you're the ultimate maid and all, but wow! Well. I provided the service to help everyone here, re here relax. Please do not worry about it. Anyway, please take a look at this. I found it on the floor when I first arrived here. Um, is this hair? You know. It looks like Hero's brown hair, but isn't Hero's hair long? I think his hair is a little bit is a bit short to be this. Huh. Do you think a piece of Do you think a piece of his hair was cut off during the struggle in his, in the room? <laughs> the carpet matches the drapes. I meant that's a rogue pube from one of his tug sessions. But can you blame him? He was stuck in his school with <sighs> He was stuck in the school with a busty beauty like me after all. No comment. Short brown hair, huh? Things like this might seem trivial, but sometimes they're important. What? Uh, are you ignoring me? I know you guys heard me. That is correct. 
The only people with hair of a similar color and length are Hajime and Makoto. Huh? What? Ben. This is the first time you've entered this room, correct, Hajime? What about Makoto? Um. I haven't asked him yet. May I? Of course, a single strand of hair is not much a lead. At the very least, we should listen to Makoto's account. Yeah. You're right. You know, I haven't seen Makoto since we went our separate ways before I went to the gym. I wonder where he went. Sure, brown hair has been added to the truth bullet section of your monopad. Missing Makoto. You're going straight to an investigation? That's pretty forward thinking of you. Even if you're used to seeing dead bodies, it'd be stupid to not feel anything. Hmm. To be honest, I feel confused, scared, and disgusted by all this. But we have to do this. I don't want anyone, el everyone else to die. <laughs> you're rather motivated to stay alive. I wish I had. No. 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 Never mind. But anyway, even though we just told, we're just told to do the killing game. Someone, someone already took action. Normally, you'd be hesitant. That is, unless you have a strong motive. That's right. It's not that easy to kill, even if someone is forcing you to do it. There's no way someone could easily could suddenly adapt to such a situation like this, right? <sighs> so much talking. The bed is covered in marks. The walls of the room are covered in slashes, which means there was a struggle in this room between two people. But why this room? Oh, hey, Makoto. Hero. Uh Oh, Makoto! Mm. Kade, are you alright? You were the one who found the body, right? Um. Yeah, I'm shocked, but I should be fine. We don't have time to sit around, though. I got it. I see. Well, let's go together. Rise and shine, or sign! What? Two. Rise and shine, or sign! <laughs> More robot bears? Why are there so many this time? It's my time to shine. Where the mono? Where the monocobs? Nice to meet you. Not funny. You know, for a protagonist, your reaction to us was pretty boring. Oh. It's rude to scream at the sight of a cute little bears like us. Hey! I'm pissed. I got a call by beating the shit out of Monodam. Hey. What's all this protagonist talk anyway? Monokuma hasn't told me anything. Jeez. Hey, don't ignore me. You bastards! Asking Monodam is useless! That's right! He's closed off his heart to others! Ah, oh, jeez! Then why don't you other bears answer me? Shut up! Hey, shut up, you stupid bears! Don't interrupt our investigation! Eh? It'd be wasteful to show up for no reason, but we didn't come to interfere either! That's right! Papa Kuma told us to give you punk ass as a hint! Huh? Papa, you mean Monokuma? What are you saying? No shit, Sherlock. I mean, look at us. We're literally his flesh and blood cubs. Do robots even have flesh and blood? Hey. Are you sure it's okay to give him a hint so soon? Right now, you're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. It's rewarding. It's her like rewarding a baby with milk when it's been all all night crying. Hell yeah! I prefer honey over milk anyway! Alright! Oh, uh, anyway, that's enough messing around! You gotta do the rest on your own! Good luck! So, those are the mono cubs. So long, bear well! So long, bear well! Jeez. Huh? Wait, what's the hint? Jeez. They admitted they came here to mess with us. They never planned to give us a hint. Jeez. Bunch of cowards trying to interrupt my investigation with a st with their stupid crap. Whatever. If I get serious, I can solve this case in no time flat. Really? Let's ask Makoto about the incident, of course. Hey. Hey, Makoto. After we split up, where did you go? Um. Um. It's not like I suspect you, but I was worried because you never came back. Hey. You can ask me anything. I'm sure you must have questions. Let's see. After we split up, I went around the I went around the academy to investigate. Huh? Around the academy? Yeah. I'm familiar. I'm familiar with this academy, but I noticed that the entrance hall was blocked off. I had to check everywhere I could to see if there was any way out, or to find clues about Monokuma. I thought if I could find a map, that might help you out, seeing as you're new here. I see. I see. So you were thinking about me, huh? No. 
I'm glad I have an upperclassman like you to look at things from a different perspective. Oh, it wasn't a big deal. I didn't end up fighting anything. Hmm. And now that, that the killing game has begun, we have to focus our attention on that. Hmm. First, we need to do something about this class trial, right? right? Yeah. And if you'd like, I can help out with the investigation. Huh? Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I can't stand by and do nothing. Hero was my classmate. Uh, I see. Hey. And besides, all of us are supposed to help with the investigation. That's what, Mona, that's what Monokuma said, right? If we don't discover the culprit, then everyone will be punished. And by punished, he means execution. Huh? What? I just got goose, goosebumps. Waking up in this strange place, being told to do a killing game, then finding a dead body. It's been a long time since I felt panic like this. But that panic grabbed the whole of my heart and snapped me back to reality. No, not panic. Fear. Hey. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but we need to collect evidence for now. It's all right. As long as you don't give up, you can find off any despair. I'm a, and I'm here to help, so don't worry. <laughs> I'm the ultimate lucky student, although I might not be that reliable. No. No, you're really reliable. Thank you, Makoto. I always said that encouraged me. So I'll do my best and work harder. I can't let everyone be ex executed. Only the killer gets executed, you know? Or, well, unless we lose, of course. First, we need to figure out where the murder weapon came from. That's right. Yeah, you're right. The one place the murder weapon could have come from. The Sigma Code has been updated in the Truth Bullet section. More people to talk to. I like the new uh, HD updated art. It's so nice and crisp. Tenko is surrounded by degenerate males. <laughs> yep. There are kitchen knives of various sizes, but it looks like one of them is missing. Was it always missing, or have you talked to someone who knows more about this kitchen? You. Hmm. One of us killed Hiro. That's what Monokuma said. But I don't think that's the only possibility. We won't know until we investigate. That's right. That's right. It could have been Monokuma's doing. He definitely enjoys toying with us. You're right. That's right. That's true. That could be a possibility. It's possible that none of us killed him, but by the same reasoning... Hmm. It's still possible that one of us killed him, though, isn't it? Shuichi, you, do you suspect me too? No. Uh, you don't seem like the kind of person who would kill somebody. But until I find the evidence that proves you're innocent. I see. That's true. Sorry. True. Sorry. It's not that I want to suspect you. I just. You know. No, it's fine. That's what ultimate detective, what the ultimate detective is supposed to do. Don't worry about me. Just do your best to investigate. That's what's going to save us. Of course, I'll do my best too. Okay. Huh? That was a dull response. What happened? A murder that occurred in our midst. A class trial that looms before us. What sort of what sort of what sort of human beauty will I be able to witness in such a strange situation? He's a total creep. Listen. Of course I will do more than bear witness to witness. I too am investigating in my own way. However, something bothers me beyond just this case. Huh? What? What is it? I'm sure you wonder about it as well. What sort of place is this academy? Why are we being treated, treated as its students? And are we truly trapped here? Normally, we would seek the answers to those questions. But this case and the class trial have ensured everyone will lose sight of these questions. Yeah. You definitely need to have to talk, talk about that with everyone, but we need to investigate. We don't have a lot of time 
from where the bodies is covered to the class trial. Hmm. You speak as if you are familiar with the process, yes? That's... That's also something we, that we can talk about later. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I shall believe your words for now in that case. Does Makoto know something? I can trust him, can't I? Do you know about the kitchen? You know? Uh, Taiko, it looks like the kitchen is short of one kitchen knife. Uh -huh. Hold on, I didn't take a knife! Um. Oh, it's not that. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything about it, that's all. I'm sorry! Oh! Oh, I'm sorry for jumping to conclusions! Um, so did, I did notice earlier that a knife had suddenly disappeared from the kitchen. Huh? What? Can you give me more details? Yes! Before the body discovery, discovery announcement, I went into the kitchen to get some tea. At the time, all the knives were still there. Listen up! But when I went to put away the teacups, one of the knives was missing. At the time, I thought that it was a strange knife was missing when no one was cooking. Good job! I see, this might be an important clue. Thanks, Tanko! <laughs> I'm honored I could help you! I would never allow a fe fellow female to be executed. Hey! Um, Tanko, were you drinking tea by yourself in the dining hall? No. No, I was Himik with Himiko. Hold on. There we go. She was teaching me the difference between magic and magic tricks. We were here together when the body discovery announcement was made. I see. And during that time, did anyone else come? By the way. I think so. It was just one person. A de degenerate male, actually. Hmm. I don't know who, because I wasn't interested in seeing the exact degenerate that walked in. Oh my god. Oh, come on, you're not helpful. So the kitchen knife was taken was taken while Tenko was in the dining hall. And whoever came to the dining hall during that time was suspicious. Hey. Kaede, it seems we've gotten all the clues here. Should we go somewhere else? That's right. Yeah, let's go. Tenko's account has been added to the truth bullet section of, of your monopad. Ding dong bing bong. Uh, I'm starting to get tired. Can we move this along already? At last! The eagerly anticipated class trial! Everyone, please assemble the red door at the end of the hallway! Boo hoo hoo! See you there! Cool. Huh? What? Already? I also don't know anything yet. Hey! Hey, they're going to susp suspect us at the class trial! That's wrong! But I didn't do it! You're right! I know, I didn't do it either! Hey! You can't give up now, no matter who doubts you! Or you'll never find the truth! I believe in you, don't forget that! Yeah, yeah right. If Makoto believes in me, then I'll believe in him too. Anyway, we just need to deal with the class trial. Um, I need to head to the red door, right? Finally arrived. Hi, hello. All right, everyone, find your assigned podium and stand behind it. Hey, that is definitely yeah. Monokuma, I don't know what you're scheming, but I won't let you do whatever you want.
Okay. I won't let you do whatever you want. Unbelievable. You're an upperclassman protagonist. I think you can come up with a better line than that. That's wrong. Hajime is right. You can't just do whatever you want with their lives. Hey! Geez, that's basically what Hajime just said. Hajime just said, you two need punch-up writers or something. Whether this demo is exciting or not depends entirely on you. Huh? Demo? Now then. Anyway, the class trial is finally starting! Make sure you guys psych yourselves up! Please wait. Hold on. You're really bugging me. What the? The trial's just about to start. I can't stand the inconsiderate robots. <sighs> but there's a really big problem. Look, there aren't enough podiums. Huh? Ah, huh, you're right. There's 18 of us, but only 16 podiums. Hey! Hey, Cubs! Can't explain what's going on. You didn't mess up now, did you? It's Monodem's fault! No, no way, Papa Kuma! It's Monodem's fault that there aren't enough podiums. Father! Um, yeah. Anyway, we didn't make a mistake. Got it. I know. Let's just tr pick two people at random and rip them apart with the ex excisals. What? I'll teach the rest of these twerps not to make the class trial boring. Oh, boring. Uh, that's too gory! I should pick two who sit out with rock, paper, scissors instead! No. No. All our trials lives will be on the line in this class trial. I won't let people lose the, lose the right to voice their opinions through rock, paper, scissors. My mood is swinging. But there aren't enough podiums, so I guess two people gotta sit out and just watch. You gotta be kidding me! Uh, that makes no sense! Don't say such selfish things! Hey! Wait, shut up! I don't need a podium, because if I don't participate in the class trial... And these fuckers can't finger the culprit, then I won't get punished, right? Huh? <laughs> no, in that scenario, the people watching from the silence would still get punished. Um. Then a genie like me should participate for the sake of the one sitting out, you know? Hey, hey. Two people, huh? We'll make Keyboy sit uh, sit out. But what about the other person? Any volunteers? Hey. Hey, don't decide that on your own. But. I don't mind sitting out. Huh? Makoto. Hey. I trust Kaede. We investigated this case together. You got me. Yeah, well, you guys shouldn't decide that without discussing it with us first. Huh? <laughs> I don't agree with all the flip-flopping going on, but I do agree we should discuss it. I guess. Yeah, if the black end isn't, isn't in the trial, then we won't be able to catch any of their slip-ups. Thrills, chills, kills! Worst of all, if the black end sits out, the trial won't be nearly as exciting. But keep us at the black end this time, so I'll just remove him from the roster. Why? You can't decide that on your own. You can't decide that on your own either. What are you talking about? Can you prove you're not the black end? I can vouch for Kibo. He's not the black end. I was with him the whole. I was with him the whole time. That's. If Kibo and Taro can both prove each other's alibis, then we're both not the black end. So it's okay if those two sit out, because I'm honestly getting sick of waiting. Jeez. It's such a selfish reason to make them sit out. Oh, nothing. I don't mind stepping out, but I've got some conditions. Huh? Conditions? Hey. First, you need to let us observe. First, you need to let, to let us observe us participate, participate in choosing the blackened. And we can't agree with the conclusion that everyone's reached. We are allowed to, we are each allowed to ask everyone one question. Depending on the situation, we should be allowed to restart the discussion entirely. I understand. So, what do you think? It would be unfair to us if you said no, agreed. Hmm. Is he like... The, like, ultimate negotiator or something? Okay, I agree to those terms. Let's just hurry up and start already. How? You agree to that quite easily. Oh, yeah. Even, even with these speed bumps in the road, the destination won't change. <laughs> the outcome of this trial is absolute. Huh? Huh? What do you mean by that? Yeah. Oh, you'll understand soon enough. Anyway, you spend way too much time dawdling. Move your asses already. Ah, father's angry. Yeah! Oh no, get to your podiums, podiums quickly, you bastards. That is not funny. So, I'm seeing this one out after all. Leave it to me. I'll be carrying out your carrying our lives too. I'll definitely do something about all this. And don't worry, we've got the ultimate detective on our side. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what 
Well then, we've got nothing to worry about. Well, if something happens, I'll be sure to help. Do your best. Don't be ner nervous. Uh, okay. Even with everything that's happened, Rintaro is so zen right now. He calmly negotiated terms with Monokuma. I wonder what his talent could be. Monokuma rushing us, we hurried to our assigned podiums. And the curtain lifted. A life or death trial, a life or death deception, a life or death betrayal. Life or death mysteries, life or death lies, life or death truths, a life or death class trial. Skills? Makes a silencer, silencer fire rapidly effective during non-stop and ma mass panic debates. That's a new one. Can be combined with a shotgun or grenade. Here's the more maximum focus a little. Sweet. Here's the maximum influence a little. Okay, let's start. Let's get going. First, a simple explanation of the class trial. The outcome will be decided by your votes. Vote correctly and only the blackened will be punished. But if you vote incorrectly, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate instead. Hey, do you guys really think that one of us killed Hero? Of course. Going to not the culprit. Okay. I'm not the culprit either. Only degenerate males would commit such an act of violence. Shut up. We've already ruled out half the suspects. Shit, this is gonna be fucking easy. We can't rule out suspects that way. We need to look at all the possibilities. Agreed. But what to discuss first? Suspicious places, things, people. Kino looks creepy. That's suspicious enough for me. Shut up. Speaking of suspicious people, how about that one with the strange title? Oh, you're talking about the ultimate supreme leader, right? That's super suspicious. Um, should you be saying that about yourself? Now, now, you'll all have a chance to assert your innocence. Okay, let's begin. Um, where should Gonta begin? We just gotta tackle the suspicious stuff one thing at a time, right? <laughs> so Kokichi's talent and Kyo's face are both suspicious? I could strip them both butt naked with my magic, but my MP's low right now. Mm -hmm. A night in the dorms would restore your MP, but the trial would be over by then. First, we have to determine what is suspicious and what is the truth. In order to make that clear, how about we start by going over the case? I agree. If we sort out the details, we might figure out which parts don't add up. I see. Then let's do it! It's starting soon. The debate to decide the culprit. If I notice anything, I need to point it out. Not just for my life, but for everyone else's lives too. Now the class trial has begun. When things pro progress during each class trial, non-stop debates will occur. During non-stop debates, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions in their statements. <sighs> you have to use truth bullets to gather to refute what they say. Any relevant truth bullets you've found will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Use LS to the aim and fire with a Y. Of course, aim for the gold words displayed in their statements. Those are weak points. There's a chance the lies or contradictions are hiding within those weak points. 
Remember, this is just a possibility, so it won't always work, of course. Also, it can only be refuted by the correct truth bullet. Compare everyone's statements to the truth bullets you have. And shoot your truth and shoot your truth bullet at the proper weak point. Also, the wink the wink purds. The pink words are called white noise. Okay. Your tooth bullets will disappear if they touch these lines, so think of them as obstacles. You can use the silencer with A to shoot down the, uh, the white noise. Please time your tooth bullets just right so they don't, uh, won't get interrupted by the white noise. Know that if you run out of time, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. Sorry if this is getting long, I know. I believe if you find a weak point, then try shooting a tooth bullet at it. Oh, I almost forgot, the new element. Do the time you can concentrate to make it slow down. Make time slow down. This will also reveal a small red dot within weak points called the V point. If you hit that with the correct truth bullet, you'll get an awesome V counter, bullseye. V counters will really improve your score and the number of mana coins you earn, so try that out. Cool. Ooh, the little things are moving. The victim was Yasuhiro Hagakure. He was a classmate of mine. Sounds like the victim, Yasuhiro, and the suspect, Makoto, knew each other. Everyone here is a potential suspect. The murder happened... in Kaede's room, right? More precisely, in Kaede, Makoto, and Hajime's. The three main characters' room. <laughs> Even more precisely, it was in the bathroom. So that hero guy... ...must have been taken by surprise while he was in the bathroom. He didn't even have a chance to... Resist. No, that's wrong! Cool. Hey, Kaito. About the room where the murder happened. I think they fought in there. Isn't that right, Kirumi? That is correct. I entered Kaede's room once before the incident and twice after. Prior to the incident, the room was slightly dusty, but after, it was in a terrible state. Just as Kaede said, we can presume a struggle happened in that room. Okay, so that room wasn't such a mess to begin with then. Kirumi, you went into that room too? Yes, to clean it. I do this for all the dorm rooms. But I did not see the culprit or hero. I plainly saw Kirumi going in and out of the dorms. She was only in each room a short time, and I didn't hear any sort of struggle. So I think it would have been difficult for her to have killed Hero then. Which two people fought in that room? We must first make that clear. The two people who fought in that room were... I get it! Yeah! Of course! It was Hero and the Culprit! Huh? Really? Who else would it be, dumbass? You got shit for brains or something? Who are you calling a dumbass? I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars! Don't raise your voice like that! Oh god. Hey, you two idiots over there. Stop chit-chatting and keep this discussion moving. Hey! Don't let me in with that idiot! You're talking to the gorgeous girl genius, Mew Iruma! Yep, you two should be lumped together. Your statements are on the same level. Judging from the state of the crime scene, after struggling with the culprit, Yasuhiro ran into the bathroom. But the culprit chased after him and killed him. That's the most likely chain of events. Yeah, that's probably what happened. Well, Kaede, continue where you left off. Wait, why me? Kokichi, don't single out Kaede. In a class trial, 
Everyone needs to contribute. But you know, if we just have Kaede talk the whole time, this might end sooner. You seem awfully wary of Kaede. You think she'll incriminate herself if we let her talk? It's not just Kaede I'm wary about. The discussion won't move forward if we all just point fingers. Like Shuichi said, we need to talk about all the possibilities. Yeah, what he said! No way Kaede's the culprit! Kaito! This trial won't go anywhere if you don't suspect anyone! Cut it out, you degenerates! You're holding up the debate! Ugh. I believe Hajime is correct about the circumstances of Yasuhiro's murder. What we have to determine now is the murder weapon. The weapon that took Hiro's life. Are you sure? Cause Miss Andre over there looks like she could pummel a dude to death. Let me make this perfectly clear. The art of Neo Aikido is not used for murder. If I had to fight off a male, I'd just throw him across the room. That, um, still might kill someone. Yeah. Gonta could maybe use fists as weapons, but then Gonta would be no gentleman. You're calling yourself a weapon? There was no indication the body was punched. I don't believe fists were the murder weapon. Then our murder weapon is the knife stabbed into his gut? Doi! You don't have to be a genius like me to know that knife was the weapon! A knife? I wonder, was the murder weapon lodged in Hero's abdomen really a knife? I need to find out more about the weapon used to kill a hero. Mind mine. In scenes where you have to deduce an image, mind mine will begin. This mode, the answer is to dig up an answer. Beginning, the answer will be completely covered by any by pieces. Use the left stick to move the cursor and delete the pieces with the A button. Pieces will be erased with, when two or more of the same color are connected. The adjacent pieces will then change color in the following order, white, pink, yellow, white. If you do it right, you can remove all the pieces from an object. The trick is to predict how the adjacent pieces will change. Come on, there we go. All the pieces on the top are, of an object are gone. You can select the object as the answer. Okay, yellow, white will turn into yellow. I mean, white turns into pink. Pink turns into yellow. Yellow turns into white. Yeah, it was like a it was a kitchen knife. The culprit didn't stab Hero in the stomach with just any knife, but specifically a kitchen knife, right? Huh? But really? It doesn't make her wrong. Yeah, I caught a glimpse of it too. That was definitely a kitchen knife. That's pretty suspicious. 
Maybe you just saw it wrong. How could I see a kitchen knife wrong? Everyone knows what those look like. A knife? I do remember seeing a knife in the kitchen. That could be it. I see, I see. An excellent deduction from the ultimate detective. Well done. Uh, it's not because I'm a detective. I'm still in training. You really don't need to be a detective to know that the knife came from the kitchen. Either way, it's exactly what Shuichi said. One kitchen knife is gone from the kitchen. Okay. Then the one who took the knife from the kitchen is our culprit. Jeez, who cares about the murder weapon? What do you mean, who cares? We can already guess who the culprit is. <laughs> There's a super duper huge hint already. Are you talking about the murder scene? What? Atua says the occupant of the room where Yasuhiro was killed is the culprit. Well, you say the occupant, but Makoto, Hajime, and Kaede were all in that room. But wait, you're suspecting us? Well, the murder did take place in our room. It's understandable that you'd suspect us. Of course. But I didn't do it. It might have been our room, but I never even went inside before the murder. I didn't either. Okay, did you? I definitely didn't do it! After Monokuma told us, I went into that room for the first time and saw Hiro dead. The murder scene was in yours and the other's room. Also, you were the first witness. If you don't have evidence to prove you're not the culprit, then you're still suspicious. Oh, yikes. But no way! Ugh, I already told you it's not Kayede. Suspecting her right off the bat is so mean. What? Hey, you're the one who brought it up. Thank you. Nee, that comes now. It's just now 10. Did I ever say Kayedi's the culprit? It makes sense to suspect the first witness as the culprit. But taking shortcuts like that won't get us the best result. Maybe, but coming from a suspect, it still sounds suspicious. But like Hajime said, we can't afford to get caught up in assumptions. We need to talk this over more to uncover the truth. This is a test. Huh? I agree with Hajime. We still have many questions about this incident. As long as there is room for debate, it is rash to decide upon the culprit. That's right! If we give up now, the class trial will end! Gonta not good at tough subjects, but Gonta will work hard for everyone's sake! That's right! We need to work together so we can overcome this class trial! Everything's gone smoothly so far, but... Huh? Did you say something, Makoto? No, it's nothing. Either way, we've got three main suspects now. The culprit is not necessarily among them, but they remain suspicious. It's not any of them! I believe in these guys! Well, right now, they're the most likely culprits. Maybe one of them took the knife from the kitchen? If that's the case, that would be pretty suspicious. If we can determine who took the murder weapon from the kitchen, that would clear Kaede of suspicion. First, we should listen to Kaede and the others' testimonies. That would be best. I'm certain they've been longing for the chance to speak. That's right. Kaede. Are you okay with that, too? Yeah, we have to at least try. Whoa, whoa, wait a second! I'm all for lively debate, but I won't allow KG Kaede to participate! What? What? Why? Because STFU, that's why! What does that mean? 
<laughs> it means it'll stir the fun up. Get it? Right now, the fun's just simmering. Anyway, instead of Keiji Kayede, we're gonna have someone else deliver their testimony instead. Just make a shit ton of excuses for why you're not the culprit! Okay, but before all that, what am I supposed to do? Is it magic? Do you want me to unleash a deadly explosion spell? No, I don't think we need magic. We need to talk about the kitchen knife. Like, did you see that knife? What happened in the kitchen and dining hall? Anything? Oh, maybe I can help. All right, I guess I'll just do it then. Kaede, I'll leave this to you. I want you to discern our voices. Now it's time for a new segment to begin. The Mass Panic Debate! Okay, that's new. I'm not the culprit. This is gonna be a pain after all, huh? Everyone is clamoring to prove their innocence. There's a panic in the courtroom. Oh, that's right. It's time. You will now be thrown into a mass panic yeah. debate. Three debates will happen at the same time. Remain calm. It's just like a non-stop debate. You're hearing the triple up. You're just hearing triple the opinions. Simple, right? Okay, cocky. Massive panic debate will also have loud voice dialogue. It's when one of their, your opponents shouts their opinion in a loud voice. That blocks out everyone's arguments. If you see a weak spot, you can't refute it. So, oh no, what do you do then? Is what you're thinking, right? Luckily, that's just like white noise. You shut them up like with the A button, the silencer. After that, all the arguments will be audible again. Cool. This is quite something. I was there with Tango. I never went to the kitchen. In the dining hall. So there's no way I could have gotten the knife. She was teaching me the difference you between real magic and a magic trick. It was I didn't just the two no of us there for my lecture. Yeah. If someone was in the dining Everybody house. knows the difference between magic and a trick. Also, I was mind. making tea. I was there are other I never went to the kitchen. The in the dining of course, there's no way I could. Yeah, oh, come on. Okay. You got a Tinker's account? Good about Okay. Making tea at the time, all the kitchen noise. After that, she had tea with Himiko in the dining hall when she went back. Mm hmm. Do you have any evidence? There is no evidence. But... There for my lecture. If someone was in the dining hall. Everybody knows the difference between magic and trick. I was yeah, in the dining hall. So no, I could have gotten the knife. She was teaching me the difference between real evidence magic evidence and a magic trick. There was mm -hmm. just there the two no of us there for my lecture. There you go. I hear it. Wait a minute. While Tenko and Himiko were in the dining hall, there was one other person who went in there too. Right, Tenko? Yes, that's true. But I'm sorry, I don't remember who it was. I was too focused on Himiko's lesson to notice the exact degenerate that showed up. 
Yeah, you even said you weren't interested because it was a man who walked in. Then what about you, Himiko? Did you see who came into the dining hall? Yeah. Now that I think about it, someone was in the kitchen. Someone who's no longer with us. Is that... Oh no, that is... Oh. Psych taxi? Can't I just say it, it was... Okay. Pick up the letter cubes. RB to concentrate. Um, okay. Was Yasuhiro? Can I use it? Oh. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, mom. Okay. Victim. I just hit a person. Wait, who's with me in the car? Middle lane. Oh, okay, so the ones you hit are the ones that get in your car. That's really funny. Are you saying Hero's the one who went into the kitchen? Uh-huh. There's no mistaking that dumb hair of his. <clears throat> then the one who took the knife from the kitchen is... It's reasonable to assume that it was the victim himself. So this is basically Sayaka's trial. But with Yasuhiro. Whether it was for self-defense or murder, however, remains a mystery. But that's strange, isn't it? Why would the victim take the murder weapon? Yeah, that weird. He know would stab himself in own stomach. <laughs> ha! You're clearly out of your element. I already have this whole thing figured out. That Asuhiro dude totally stuck himself in the gut, which makes this a suicide, baby! No, that's not possible. As we already discussed, there were signs of a struggle in that room. Oh, oh you noticed? I was just testing you idiots, in case you'd forgotten. It seems that the culprit hmm. took the knife from Hiro and used it to kill him. You mean... Culprit could be person who not bring knife? Too bad. I guess Kaede's still suspicious. And so are Makoto and Hajime. Maybe we're thinking too hard. Isn't the first witness suspicious after all? First witness? You mean Kaede? Suspicion now falls upon you, Kaede. Do you have an explanation? Hold up! I didn't do it! Stop yelling up on me, Look please. Look at her shake like a fucking rabbit! Just relax. This'll all be over once we reach the climax. Well, no matter what she says, I'm not the culprit, but how do I convince everyone? 
So, tell us, Kayeni. You're the culprit, aren't you? No. No, that's wrong! Yeah, you've got that wrong. Oh? The two leads just said their catchphrases! Finally, this is getting exciting! I believe you, Kaede. You're absolutely not the culprit. Don't give up now, Kaede. You can't let it in here. For all our sakes, and yours too. Makoto, Haji... Kaede, don't give up hope. Keep going and you'll be able to reach the truth. You're right. And that's what I wish for too. But how do I prove my innocence? That's... Fine. I guess my decisive testimony will help us find our culprit. Uh. You know who culprit is? That means everyone not have to get punished. Then, after we hear Kokichi's statement, we can take the rest of the day off. I can finally go back to my warm, familiar bed in the dorm. Huh? You're used to it already? Yeah, that's quick. Kokichi, if you had information like that, why didn't you tell us sooner? Well, if I said something that important right away, that wouldn't be much fun. Anyway, the culprit is Makoto. Huh? What are you saying? Makoto's the culprit? That's not possible. I really do want to believe it's impossible, but Makoto has no alibi for where he was after we split up. Only appeared after the murder. Bye, Naya. Makoto believes in me, so I want to believe in him too. I might be able to help Makoto if I lie. Did you hear that? A lie. Now, I know that sounds crazy. Telling a lie in a class trial? But sometimes telling a lie is necessary to reach the truth. Oh, but don't worry. There are no lies in this tutorial. From here on out, you will be, there will be times you have to tell a lie. Or you had to refute the lies, but now you'll have to lie yourself. Doesn't it get your heart pumping? If it works, select a truth bullet like a normal non-stop, like normal non-stop debates. When you hold Y, the truth bullet will become a lie bullet and with the opposite meaning. Releasing Y will shoot the lie bullet. And you use the lie bullet to argue or agree with someone's statement. It will become perjury. A statement with paint that paints over the truth with lies. While lying, your influence gauge will drain. A successful lie will restore it. But if you miss with your lie bullet, you'll take damage, so be careful. You can't V counter here, but you can pull up a V perjury. And that will be awesome, so try that. Thank you much, Lee. May we hear your testimony? Before the body discovery announcement. The blood of the handle is a different color. I saw Makoto leave that room by himself! I swear! By that room, you mean the crime scene, right? Makoto looked like he had just murdered someone. Before the body was found, I didn't go into that room even once. So Kokichi must be mistaken. Gee, this is uh, interesting. May we hear your testimony? Well, actually, before the body discovery announcement, I saw Makoto leave that room by himself! I swear! By that room, you mean the crime scene, right? Makoto looked like he had just murdered someone. Before the body was found, I didn't go into that room even once. So Kokichi must be mistaken. May we hear your testimony? Well, actually... I saw 
tell Makoto leave that room by himself, I swear! I'll turn this lie into the truth! Who? Well, ever since I woke up in the Academy and up until the body discovery announcement, I was with Makoto the entire time, so Kokichi couldn't have seen him. Hmm. Kaede, you'd rather choose a lie than the truth? Just to protect Makoto? Do you have any proof to show that I'm lying, Kokichi? Nope, none at all. I lied about seeing Makoto. Why, you... Don't mess with us! For you to make a false right. statement when our lives are at risk, I am not amused. I just wanted Makoto to talk, so I simply tricked him into speaking. Why beat around the bush like that? Because it's still not clear where Makoto was before and after the incident, right? Oh, man. I totally thought Makoto would talk if we started accusing him. Responding to an obvious lie with another obvious lie? I don't know about that. Oh, yeah! After I heard the body discovery announcement, I checked out the rooms. Kai Idiot was all by herself. And Makoto wasn't even there! It's weird that they would split up after they found out a body had been discovered. I don't get why you would do that. Can you explain, Kaide? You wished to protect Makoto. There is beauty in such a wish. Oh, shut up. But Kaede, your lie is far too fragile and fleeting to protect anyone. Uh, sorry. Huh? Kaede, tell why? You didn't notice, huh? Um... Thanks for believing in me, Kaede. I don't thought my lie was too weak. I need to be more convincing if I want them to believe me. I'll remember that next time I need to lie. We just got dragged around by Kokichi's lies. We didn't clear a single thing up. Meanwhile, your remaining time is slowly but surely dwindling. Huh? There's a time limit too? Of course there is. No one wants to watch a literal non-stop debate. That shit's boring. Hell yeah! We'd have to rip and tear into your huge guts just to make it entertaining! We know that Hero brought the murder weapon, the kitchen knife, and bought the culprit in Kaede's room, where the culprit took the knife and killed Hero. We haven't narrowed down the suspects at all. Kaede and the other two are still suspicious. That hasn't changed yet. Uh, what a pain. Kaede, just confess already. I don't need to confess just because it's a pain for you. Atua mm. says that Kaede is the culprit. I'm not. I think we should listen to him. No. No, I'm going to let them pin me as the culprit for that reason. But I, if I tell them I'm not, then they might suspect Makoto instead. Anyway, we have to discuss this even further. What other clues are there? It can't end like this. No one wants an ending like that. So, Hajime, leave this to me. Everyone listen up. Like we said, Kaede isn't the culprit. Do you have evidence that proves that? Also, I don't tolerate lies from anyone, but especially not from degenerate males. Got it? Ooh. It's no lie. I have the evidence. Something was dropped at the scene of the crime, right? I think I know what you're referring to. It was on the ground, but what about it? And there's something else. Kaede, you know what I'm talking about, right? Something off about the crime scene? Something off? That thing left on the ground, and the fact that something was off about the crime scene. If we put those two things together, we'll have all the facts. Is that... That sounds like a completely different voice actor all of a sudden. That's it. I won't let you go any further. What? Why? Because this is just the demo version. But it won't get continued. to seeing you guys start your real killing game semester. <laughs> okay then. Well. Hey, how was our acting? 
Oop! It wasn't too shabby! I especially liked how convincingly you wasted everyone's time! I was a little worried about the end there. Hope it was exciting enough. Well, since we got through it smoothly, that's it for today. Smell you later! Good job, everyone. Good job. See ya! Hey! Wait for me! Uh. Are you stupid? We gotta tell him the most important part. Ah! That's right! This, this is, is an, an announcement! announcement. Hello! Oh, sweet! Hell yeah! So you better save it. So long! Farewell! Yes. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye bye.